Well, well, non typically, guys, we're starting this one in the parking lot. Uh, my mom just came up after, I don't know, five years. Um, and I got to spend time with her and take her sturgeon fishing. I might insert a clip here. Um, but this is, this one, there's no point to this video. It's just about fishing for yourself and making yourself feel better. Let's go get some big ones. If you ever wonder why I'm such a legend, that's the reason right there. Get it done, mama. going guys I told you guys I was fishing for myself today oh I'm trying to put my GoPro in my hat and fishing for myself also means not filming and when it's relatively slow definitely means not filming but all of a sudden I'm hooked up to a giant so I think it's a giant anyway, it feels like a good fit. But I figure, hey, let's throw the camera on. Look at that thing. It's like a giant 26 inch stinky dead sucker covered in flies. Stop throwing them on the bank, guys. Holy moly, that's a giant. That is a freaking giant. I was kind of like, I wonder how big it really is. Cause like it felt big. Check out the Pelican. That is sick. But I was like, I wonder how big it like really is. Cause like it feels pretty big, but I had some small ones on earlier and I was kind of just being a wimp. And I was like, oh yeah, this is a good fish. No, it was like a 42, which is a great fish. Don't get me wrong, but I thought it was a lot bigger. <laughs> but I'm here and I just, got this dude just towing me and I got a glimpse of him there a second ago and it's a big fish I'm gonna put my hat on and focus though there you guys go first person view it's like playing uh, Call of Duty or whatever Call of Duty or whatever other game that dirty sucker is like going to get in the way of this fish. But I want to stay close to the measuring board because it actually like, I'm not usually a guy who measures my own fish a whole lot unless it looks to be really big. And I may change my mind yet, but it does look big. It looks long anyways. Like he doesn't look overly fat. But he definitely looks long. And that's a pretty good little pretty good little swirl he made there if you guys seen that but I've been seeing some big fish jump today like I was having fun I'll insert some clips here I was fly fishing around there's all these little fish surfacing Ooh, wow wow there's all these little fish surfacing and I was like well maybe they're gold eye and I can catch one on the dry fly so I had the dry fly and then these guys on the boat were like oh I want to see you catch one on the dry fly I was like well I'm not really fishing with a dry fly to catch a sturgeon and then all of a sudden this giant sturgeon like jumps beside my dry fly and like he's not jumping to eat bugs obviously but uh, I was like shoo I was like shoo shoo go away go away and I seen like a really big fish jump a couple times. I don't know, this could be that fish. 
because I've been hanging around where he was and we're after him. This guy took a huge jump right in front of me. Like it's a big fish, big long fish. Like look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. I gotta stay over here, I gotta stay over here. Stay focused Adam, don't panic. But uh, I've been catching mostly small fish. I'm having a, I'm having a good day, I'm just, just hanging out. Okay. Like he's in that 60 range, honestly. He's in that 60 range. Like look at that dinosaur just swimming. Wow, he's fat too. I'm like nervous right now. I'm nervous because I'm like standing in mud too. And he's strong and he's just been dogging me. I don't want anything getting knotted up here. I gotta turn him. Holy moly. That's a strong fish, guys. That's a strong fish. It's not done yet. Wow. All alone, solo. We maybe could have landed that fish if I had someone else there. But I'm just gonna take it slow. I just keep bowing to this fish and putting side pressure on it, but like, holy moly, it's big. I wish someone would like walk down right now. That would be handy. That would be so handy. Like I'm comfortable landing them on my own, but I'm also not. Because it kind of looks like something's not right with my rig. And I'm just nervous. I'm just nervous because it's a big one. Because it's a big one. Oh, he's wrapped up a bit. He's wrapped up a bit. Oh, now I'm extra nervous. Now I'm extra nervous. This is bad news. Oh, I got it. It's a freaking giant. A freaking giant. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. That is freaking scary. Holy freaking scary. Get rid of the rod. Oh my God. This is uh, this is damn near a PB um, for me. Um, this is a freak, an absolute freak. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 I got the other hook in my hand. Ow. Holy moly. We're gonna get the measurement, guys. Guys, this is a giant. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Look at that hook just buried in his mouth. Oh yeah. Oh, he don't want to give that hook up. He's like, I got worms in there. Here, keep this guy nice and washed up. Oh, oh my god. What a fucking boy. Oh my god, I can't even pick it up. Oh, I can't even pick it up. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the biggest one I've ever caught. 100%, guys. 100% this is the biggest fish I've ever caught. This is a f giant. Excuse my language. Wow. Oh, 61. 61 and three quarters. 61 and a half. Second 60 of the year. Uh, 
You're getting there really easy to there, man. Oh, guys, 61 and a half. The, easily the fattest fish I've ever caught. Look at the girth on this thing. Look at the girth on this thing. Look at this ginormous fish. Wow. 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 I'm letting her go. I'm letting her go. Like, wow. Ooh. <laughs> so I got all this fancy filming gear and here I am with my phone in my hand and the thumb in front of the camera and I don't even know what I'm really doing. But uh, I was having a rough day so I came out here and I was like, you know what, I'm going to go fishing, do this for myself. I kind of like, at the start I put the microphone on, put the GoPro on my head and I was like, I don't feel like filming at all. And then I started catching fish. I was feeling pretty good. Because um, that's what fishing does for me. It always makes me feel better. I don't know about you guys, but just getting outside, um, whether you're with people or by yourself, it's always just great. Um, and I just sat here and fished, caught a couple of small sturgeon and a bunch of suckers. And I hooked into a fish and I was like, this feels pretty good. And I managed to stumble my way back to my GoPro and I was like, I'll get it ready for a photo. And I was like, well, I'll put it on my head put it on my head and I started recording because my phone was already in the tripod anyways so I put it on my head and started recording and while all of a sudden I walk back towards the water and I can see this fish a little ways out and he's giant um, I didn't get the best footage so I'll insert it here uh, after I stop talking but uh, what an absolute freak this had to be the heaviest fish I've ever caught um, for sturgeon uh, probably just heaviest fish I've ever caught honestly um, and it felt awesome and that's why we come fishing on rough days right like I'm so pumped right now I'm like that was just a freak and my mom's stoked for me she went home today that's why I was kind of having a rough day and sent her the pictures as she landed in Toronto and she is super stoked for me so I'm really glad that uh, I got to land a big fish I'm glad I got to see her land some fish I got to land some fish she was laughing at me and John running around having our competition so it was really great but uh i don't know if there'll be any more to this video like you'll see how long it is so if there is there is and if there is there isn't i'm having a good time fishing makes me feel better i hope it makes you guys feel better too always make sure that instead of sitting around and when you're feeling bad and just sitting around feeling bad don't do it do whatever makes you happy whether it's i don't care if it's video games i don't care if it's watching Netflix series. I don't care if it's going fishing. I don't care if it's going hunting. I don't care if it's going look for sheds I don't care if it's skipping rocks in the river next to me while I'm fishing If it makes you happy while you're having a bad day, go do it. Have a good day guys